please welcome the one and only Mickey Rourke, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sit down, Mickey. Oh. Wow. Oh. He's a good man. Great to see you. Come on, sir. Well, that's what I like to see. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Well, uh, first of all, two things. One is uh, oh. Mickey gave me a little hug there. Man, he's strong. He's uh, like a bear crush. I think <sighs> I've, I've damaged a rib. Oh. Strong man. It's a steroids. Congratulations. <laughs> and uh, and gotta, I've got to say, I'm loving the shoes. Check out these shoes. Oh. Look at that. The full blue suede yeah. going on there. That's looking good. Well. Good styling. Uh, now, congratulations are due to Mickey Work for uh, just an outstanding performance in a remarkable movie, The Wrestler. What a film. Congratulations. You must be over the moon with the way it's been received and, and the work itself, I'm sure. Why didn't you show The Wrestler? We sh we you showed show a movie that. from 200 years ago. We're going to show The Wrestler in a minute. I wanted to do that in the middle. We've got this, uh, because ah. I'm saving the best to last. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that's okay. a great film as well. Yeah. Is it was weird a hard to... film. Why was Angel Hunt hard? Because, um, you know, it was uh, Alan Parker. He was very strict. And I had a really bad reputation at the time. I don't know why. And uh, <laughs> I think, you know, he, the day Alan Parker met me, and I have all the respect in the world for him. I mean, I loved uh, all his movies. And he just, scold, as he introduced himself to me, he started scolding me. And I went, I haven't done anything yet. You before know? So you he would even... yell at me before I would do anything. And, and, and then he had, you know, Robert would improvise, and then I'd improvise back, and then... Robert would go, Mickey's improvising, and Alan said, Robert doesn't want you to improvise. And I go, if he improvises, I'm going to be able to improvise. Right, yeah. So enough. I got yelled at because I was the young... You know, but you know what, yeah, that, that period, uh, here's the thing, and if you saw the BAFTAs um, when Mickey turned up to, to collect his award for the fabulous performance in The Wrestler, you, you gave that speech, and it was a, a very lovely speech. It was quite moving, and it was, it was interesting in a number of different ways. But one of the things you said was how you kind of messed up your career for quite a while, and how yeah. to get it back yeah. was his choice. Yeah. Um, that is quite something to look back on, I guess. I mean, that, that period must be now... I mean, did you have to go through that, do you think, to, to get where you were today? Or, or was it just a, a terrible mistake, a terrible misstep? It was, ter it was a, a, an accumulation of many mistakes, yeah. It was, you know, you go out there and, and you think you can rise above the shit and you, you fall into it. And you, you know, it's about being accountable. And I, with me, in the beginning, there were no rules. I wasn't accountable. I wasn't... Uh, you know, I thought it didn't matter if I showed up to work an hour late, you know, they'd get over it. But, I, you know, it's a, uh, movies, are, they go by the day. It's like, you know, a lot of money each day. And yeah, if you yeah, show yeah. up two hours late, that's a lot of, you know. But in a way, obviously, uh, you damaged your career. In other ways, as a person, as the experiences you went through, you must have had some great times, some remarkable times. There must be some, some great memories you have from that period, as well as uh, the, the, the bad memories. I had some really good memories. And, uh, um, and... Uh, my memory's not that great, so I sort of like live in the moment. <laughs> so you think you've got some great memories, but you're not I, quite yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I hear when I come here, this is yeah. like second home for me, you yeah. know, and it's like I've been staying in the same hotel in the same room for 20 years at Blake's, you know, and, and I was in there last night and I was having a really great time. And um, <laughs> I was, I was uh, in Australia and England at the same time. And it was wow, like, so you have lots of fans <laughs> all over the world. Well, sometimes no, there's appreciation. Like, I, yeah, I was trying to recall some of the nights well, that I've had there yeah. for 20 years, and I couldn't, I could only remember one or two. <laughs> wow. Well, but then again, if you're enjoying a new one, why wallow in memories? <laughs> um, now let me ask you about something else you said in yeah. the BAFTA speech, which, uh, which, which was a lovely thing to hear. You, you, you mentioned one person in particular. Yes. You mentioned the great actor, uh, and we were lucky enough to have him on this show several times, and I, I spent some time with him, Mr. Richard Harris. Right. And I was surprised. I didn't know you were close to Richard. I didn't know that he was a, a part yeah. of your life. How did you well, know Richard, and, and what, what was he to you? I was a big, I was a big fan of Richard's and uh, in that whole era of actors at that time, and especially Richard. Especially I met him here, and then he was in Los Angeles for a while, and uh, I'd heard a lot of stories about him, you know, about he was, you know, this and that, and you know, most of them weren't true. It's the same thing like about me. I'm, it's not, I haven't done all those things that people sometimes accuse you of doing and, and sort of, so Richard and I sort of had a rapport and a friendship and uh, um, he would advise me about, look, don't do this movie. If you do that movie, there's gonna be th these reper repercussions, you know, and 
And, so he, uh, he, and I imagine that's advice for someone who'd been through similar things. He'd I mean, he... been through them, and I thought, oh, that was Richard, and then I'd go do them. And now as, year, as the years have gone by, I went, you know, I really should have listened closer to Richard because Richard, he, he'd been there and done it, and, he, and he'd done it well, and he, you know, he, uh, yeah. Can I say something, and it, it might seem strange, but, you know, I don't know what was driving you. I don't know what turmoil was inside you that, right. that drove right. you to the extremes of, of behaviour that, that maybe sometimes you did. But, right. but at the same time, that, I think, came through on screen. And I think those early movies you made, there's something that comes through from you, even things like nine and a half weeks, something like that, that could have been a fairly straightforward fair. There's something about you on screen which I think comes from whatever was inside you back then that eventually almost killed your career, yes. but it actually also yeah. gave you a career in the beginning. Yeah. Yes, my, my psychiatrist would agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> we must hang out more, your yeah, psychiatrist well, and I. Yeah, I remember after 10 years of going to him, you know, when the, when the roof fell in, uh, I think after about, yeah, but after about nine years, nine and a half years, I said to him one day, Steve, let me ask you a question. I said, you know, was I crazy? Yeah. And I went, man, you're not supposed to say that. You know? <laughs> and then he went, not anymore. So, you wow. know, I mean, we worked through some shit. That's a great, what a great yeah. thing to hear, yeah. though. Yeah. Um, we mentioned, we, we're going to talk about the rest of this in a minute, but let me talk about some of your early movies. Which are the yeah. ones that you look back on and with admiration or with respect for the work you did and the, the, the finished product itself, and which are the ones you look back and say, okay, I clearly did that just for the money, I clearly did that just to... Do you have a time. list in front of you with the movies? Well, I can tell you some of your films. Well, I'll tell you some can of my... I just go like this? Okay, okay, we'll just, right. okay, here we go. Diana. Really? I would have thought... I would have thought... Right. For well, that's okay. you. Okay. Rumblefish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine and a half weeks. <laughs> okay, uh... Uh, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. <laughs> <laughs> there was a weird one I saw you in, which I know where, where your thumb's going to go for this one, but it's kind of double team. Yeah, that was... Uh, I was broke, come on. That was such a weird... That's a no, weird that was, that was... I couldn't get a job. I was... I had left to go back to the boxing and I was un, what they call unbondable. So the they time. couldn't insure you for the I film. I was not insurable, yeah. Wow, wow. Uh, but then, you know, it, it turned around for you gradually and there must have been people who, who saw you, who wanted to help. I know Sylvester Stallone. St Sylvester Stallone helped me and uh, I was sitting eating in a restaurant one night in a fancy place and I could barely pay for the bowl of pasta I was eating and I, I look up and I slide sitting there standing above me. Hey, you, Hey, you're looking good, you know. I said, oh, thank you. He says, uh, I need somebody in the movie. It looks like they can kick my ass. So I said, well, I can do that. <laughs> uh, so he gave me a job, and the, what a lot of people don't know is he was very generous. He actually, they offered me the movie, and the producer was a real piece of shit, and he, he offered me crappy money, and I said no. And I was broke, but it was a matter of principle. Sly called me back a little while later, and he says, hey, did he offer you a disrespectable amount of money? I said, yeah. He said, would you do it for such and such? And I said, yeah. He called me back and he says, you got it. Then I go up there to work up in Toronto and uh, his bodyguard pulled me over and he says, you know, that piece of shit wouldn't pay you the money. Sly gave you the money out of his pocket. So, wow. I mean, and that, you, what know, so that, you know, so yeah, that's that allowed, you know. Come on, even, yeah. I love Sylvester Stallone anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're about to work with him again, aren't you? Are you going to be in this film? One day. I'm, I'm doing one day because I just got done doing a movie with uh, called... Uh, 13 with uh, Ray Winston, Jason Statham, and uh, Curtis Jackson, 50 Cent. That's, uh, can I just say, that's not, that's not going to be a romantic comedy with that cast. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Jason, Jason's going to do it. Jason and I became very good friends. Uh, Jason Statham, I'm hoping to get him on the show. I love seeing his movies now. Well, he, he, uh, he's a good action guy, isn't he? he, know, he never can goes it. to bed. Does he not go to bed? <laughs> no, no, he can go. <laughs> uh, you, might, well, you know what I love to see is the fact that you're enjoying life. That you're, yeah. you're, you're back on top, and obviously... You, Having gone through the experience you went through, obviously you're, you're appreciating it more this time, I guess. Yeah, well... And in a way, did it come to you a bit too easily early on, do you think? I don't think it came to me too easily. What happened is, like anybody else, I came from no money. I started to make a lot of money. I had more friends than I needed. I had an entourage from hell. And um, I started living above my means. And uh, then all of a sudden, you're, 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 you're taking a movie that you don't like and you're working with a director you don't care for to pay for some 
house that's too big for you to live in. For the wrong reasons, yeah. Yeah, and then you lose respect for yourself, for your, you know, the... But what's so, be what's so weird is looking at your career and reading up about you is, uh, you know, is that uh, for all the great movies you made, you turned down some which were, wound up being just as good, would have been just as good, and perhaps even better with you in it. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Man was offered to you, I believe. Well, you know, I never comment on these things because other, other actors other have actors done the roles. Other actors wanted to do it, I know. But several, you know. so, uh, yeah, I can comment. Yeah. Wayne Man, Platoon, oh. Silence oh. of the Lambs, Pulp Fiction, you, and which you would have been brilliant. I heard you talked a lot. Yeah, but you turned down those roles. And even if we remove well, the names from the Philly show. If I had reasons, I had crazy mad reasons and for so doing they, that. So they weren't reasons that you now think No, they were real, be... real, like, angry reasons, you know? I had met, met Oliver Stone, and I think he pissed me off or something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. little things. Little, little things. things, he just pissed me off at dinner. That was it. And so now you've kind of, you're calmer now. You don't, little things like that don't get you as easily. No, no, oh no, after what I've been through, are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go to the desert for 14 years, yeah, you feel. <laughs> yeah. Three months almost finished me off. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right, now, let's show you a clip now. I don't know how many people, it's been out for a few weeks, I don't know how many people have not yet seen The Wrestler, but if you haven't seen it, you have to go and see this movie. You must be, I mean, obviously, it's being rewarded, you're picking up awards, but regardless of that, just, just being involved in this must be a great thing for you. I'm very proud of it. It's the, it's the hardest movie I ever had to make, and it, I feel it's the best movie I've ever made. And what I'm really ha uh, proud about is the, I didn't know shit about wrestling, the wrestling community, the WWE, Vince McMahon, Rowdy Piper, the legendary Nature Boy, Ric Flair, they all came to the premiere, and they even embraced the movie, and that means a lot to me. This is The Wrestler. Great to meet you. One, two, bam! The world has seen a one-trick pony and feels so happy and free. If you well, I was wondering if I could get some more work. All I got is weekends. Isn't that when you sit on other dudes' faces? Have you ever seen a one-legged dog? You have a beer with me? <laughs> <laughs> one beer. If you've ever seen you have a daughter? Oh, my daughter, she don't like me very much. You should call her. What do you want from me? I'm an old, broken-down piece of meat, and I deserve to be all alone. I just don't want you to hate me. You know, the only place I get hurt is out there. I'm really here. In this life, I can lose everything you love, everything that loves you. A lot of people told me that I'd never wrestle again. The only one who's gonna tell me when I'm through doing my thing is you people here. Hey, Nicky, um, yeah. making the movie, the yeah. preparation, a lot of people are a little dismissive of wrestling. They see it as showbiz, as razzmatazz. Uh, they don't see it as a real sport, even. I um, do, too. Yeah, uh, you, and how, w w once you've actually experienced it, what's, the, uh, what's it actually like? Is it tough, or is it more kind of well, like... I, I did not have, myself, any respect for the wrestling profession at all. Having come from a proper boxing background, yeah. I thought, this is shit, this is... It's a predetermined, choreographed outcome, and... I was disappointed that the, this great director that I wanted to work with wanted to make a movie like this, and then finally I let that go, and I thought, you know, this, I need to work with a guy like this director, and man, after, these guys are big too, so I had to go spend seven months putting on about 28 pounds. Wow. So you bulk up, so that's a, a, big, yeah. a big diet, you're eating a lot and you're working out a lot. Eat six times, six to seven times a day, and then uh, two split root, uh, workout routines, lifting heavy weights and... Uh, uh, 45 minutes of cardio. That's an intense, and I imagine that must really get you. That must, it must be a bit, not soul destroying, but it must be really tough to keep going. To keep... It, it's hard, you gotta, yeah, it was over eight month period to put on not just fat, but muscle. Yeah. It was really hard, you know, because these guys are big and it was the only way to pull it off. Yeah, but you feel, you've still got all the, you're still working out and stuff, aren't you? Oh yeah, but not like that. That's, yeah. it, and, it, and I thought, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun to be able to eat whatever I want, and yeah. do it. but you, you reach a plateau where it's going. My trainer would say to me, did you have that other meal? And I'd already eat four or five meals, and I'd say no. And he goes, well, you have to have six more eggs and another chicken breast. Oh, and it's, man. you know, nine o'clock at night. That's not And then he'd call up and go, did you have the protein shake, you know? Wow. So you begin to not like, and I guess oh, you, you don't hate, know something. hated it. Uh, you, you don't, I mean, steroids weren't used, I'm sure, but were drugs used? Do you need supplements as well to deal with this change? Okay. <laughs> hmm? Hmm?
in a way, no answer is worse than an answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's, uh, it, but well, it's an hardest uh, thing to put your body through. Uh, a lot of protein shakes. No, okay, a lot yeah, of protein shakes. A lot of, of push-ups. Uh, and do you do you get did you get damaged much? I know you got. Yeah, through. I, I don't ended know up. At the, well, this is going back to, to answering your question. By the uh, by, after about a month and a half, I went, man, these guys are athletes, and I do have a, a renewed respect for this sport because I ended up with three MRIs in two months. Wow. Because you get some big. So that's a scan, isn't that? Well, the, you get the, some big cat picking you up and throwing you down and you don't know you, you, uh, these guys take years to learn how to flop they call it to you know and to break the impact yeah to break it. it and i'm landing like a lump of shit and everything's rattling and i'm walking around like this <laughs> i lived on a three-story walk up he's pushing me up the stairs every night because wow. my legs couldn't carry the weight just exhausted he's, he's walking me down like frankenstein in the morning like this or like a cock and then me, going up going <laughs> like this, yeah at night and wow and, you know, my neck went out, my knee went out. My, um... And this is what these guys go through on a regular oh, basis absolutely. at every level of the game, I guess. Yeah, and so when you see these guys that are, let's say, in their late 30s and early 40s that are still doing it, you know, they can barely tie their shoes without because, you know, they, they feed off the adrenaline of the audience. And you've got, you got 60,000 people in, in an arena and they're, all, they're doing a flip off the top rope. Maybe 40% of the time they're not going to land right. And yeah. something's going to really pop or... So people are going home hurt every evening from yeah, those events. Yeah. Um, I, uh, have you ever been to see the, the Mexican wrestling? Because they are big on it in Mexico. I saw it when I was doing my research, uh, because that's, it's pretty wild. They have Rey Mysterio, who does all these flips and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. actually going to go to my first one to WrestleMania in, uh, in Houston. You're not going to wrestle, though? Um, we, we had talked about that, but I'm, uh, now that I'm listening to other people other than myself, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to be allowed to wrestle. So the, and, I, and I'm going to take their advice. So, so uh, Mickey, this is what we've learned over the years: yes, is yes. to listen to other voices. Sometimes. Well, I was halfway there. Not just the ones yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah. But I can see the temptation oh, because yeah. you love the idea, and oh, yeah. I think you like the combat. That you I like, like the physical thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah I understand. Uh, I, I when I went Mexican wrestling, I bought some masks. Myself, and this is uh, oh. this is the one I favour. Yeah, uh, you didn't wear one in the film, of course. I did not wear one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> This is a good feeling. We should have done the whole show like this. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. it. What a great look at yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. This is a good look. Yeah. This is good. This should be our publicity photo. Yeah. You know. And you know, you might, uh, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, you know, I should admit this, but during my suspension period, I was actually hosting a show in Mexico called uh, Friday Noches. Well, here, come over here. You sit over here. Okay, no one needs to. I'll sit over here. Man, I've been through some bad shit. Thank you, I said, Bobby, if you're improvising, I want to improvise. Uh, <laughs> piece of shit wouldn't listen to me. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, keep going, I'll get taken up again. You can look over there. Well, that was like, oh, oh, blimey, I don't know what's going on now. I'm a bit dizzy and confused. Oh, <laughs> All right, uh, let's take the mask off. We want to see you again. That's oh. too frightening. And then you've got floppy ears on I your one. I had a rough it's... night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like you had a great night. Um, before you go, I've got a gift for you. Here's one of the things, one of the many things I love about Mickey Work. And I, I've been a fan of yours for years, and I'm so thrilled you're back. I've been a fan of yours, and I'm so thrilled that you're back. <laughs> I so wish you couldn't say that to me. <laughs> uh, Ow, that still uh, hurts. It still hurts. It's vibrating I now. Need to do it that hard. Yeah, now my shoulder hurts as well. Uh, um, you know, one of the things I love about Mickey is he, he has a deep and abiding passion for his dogs. You have how many dogs do you have now? Loki. Well, I you've got six. a picture of the dog with you? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a beautiful. That's a chihuahua, yeah? Shorthead yeah, yeah, chihuahua? Yeah. And that's, is that Loki? No, that's Loki's father. Loki's father. Yeah. Loki's home. Loki had a stroke. Oh, no. How old is Loki? Oh, she's only 18 and a half. Well, that's not bad innings for a chihuahua. Yeah, but I need it? her here. I need her here. You love Loki? Well, I love Loki. I have a little gift for you. I bought you some collars for your dog. These are from a place called, I bought some of my dog, and they're the, I think they love it. They're a place called Holly and Lil. I went online, and we chose oh. this for But this one, I think, for one of your special tribes, these are all special. Look, oh, that goodness. one's got a bit of tweed, very English. Oh, yeah. That one's got dice, if there's one that likes gambling. Oh, I like this here for you. This is a kind of a pirate one. It's got skull and crossbones. Jaws. This is for Jaws? Jaws. There you go. You've got to promise one thing, Mickey. What's that? Send us a picture of Jaws wearing that, and we'll show I, it on the show. I, I promise you I'll do that. Okay. Uh, before you go, yes. Mickey, uh, coming up is the Oscars. Uh, you've had a pretty good one on the awards one. I have my fingers crossed. I hope you get it 
for the rest of us as well. Just to be nominated must be a tremendous thing. I, I, I wouldn't have thought you expected that necessarily to happen again so soon. But to be up there at the top again, what does the Oscars mean to you? It would, you know what, after my drought, it, it, would, it would mean everything, but it's like, I mean, it, I would be, it would be an honour. Uh, best of luck with it. I, I hope you get it. I hope. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, regardless of whether he gets an Oscar this year or not, you've got to go and see The Wrestler. It's one of the best movies I've seen, well, ever. Uh, it's Mr Mickey Work, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Mickey, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. I don't you love that, I hope. Oh, no. Take care of yourself. Mickey Work, one of the best. And with all my guests this week, Mickey, of course, Will and Jason. Next week on the show, we have the wonderful Zadeo.